Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Uh, Jesse and I are coming back out to her closet consignment shop that we tried to go to in April before they were open. Now they're at a new location because the other one was not big enough. Oh my gosh. So I was driving to your house to come pick you up. There was a squirrel, you know, the squirrels that can't make up their minds. Yeah. Uh, like this. Uh, hmm. <laughs> and then, like, I'm not gonna completely break for squirrels, but I'll slow down. But I'm also not gonna swerve because he's doing this. Like, I might swerve into him. Like, if he hits me, that's his fault. But he was under my car. Like, he was dead center, like, rolling around. I was like, oh no! I looked in my rear view mirror and he's running across the room. I'm like, <gasps> He lived! He lived! Oh. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. All right, I should probably check my bank account before I shop, but okay, here we go! Shopping with Jesse was fun. We ended up also going to Salvation Army because secondhand is where it's at, especially if you have the time to peruse and really work hard to try to find some cool deals. Dave bought a little sling for Molly for the back seat. Wow. We've been doing some landy stuff things today, just trying to get stuff figured out and trying to decide what we're doing really so yeah that's a that's a thing we're doing dave is inside a john deere right now because he loves buying tools to perhaps help him on land someday but today's been a really good day it's been really chill i feel like weighted down like physically weighted down like not emotionally but like physically like around my stomach area and i feel like maybe i ate too much for dinner I mean, I definitely stuffed my face at dinner and like tried to eat as much stuff as possible. So I mean, it could be because of that reason that I'm not feeling like 100% today. And also I'm feeling a little bit spacey today. Not like super, super spacey, but not super, super spacey to the point where I don't feel like I'm here, but spacey enough where I'm just kind of like in my own world. But it's day 24, day 24 of drinking only water. And to be fair, like my face has cleared up a lot. My face is looking a lot better. But I think that's a combination of drinking just water and also washing my face more consistently and using better products for my skin and just taking overall better care of my outer organ. I love me a huge bowl full of veggies. Like this is enormous, but I'm sure I'm gluttonous enough to eat all of it. Red peppers, mushrooms, asparagus, broccoli, red onion, spinach, avocado, and tomato. I think that's everything. Put in some nutritional yeast, some paprika, you know, get those spices in there. Go see if I can find any trash TV on, and that's what I'm gonna watch. And tonight we're probably gonna watch Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban because last night we finished book three. We're starting book four tonight. Good morning guys, hi, how are you? I'm outside Sayla. Yo, is Sayla here? I got some videos to upload. <laughs> Dave's doing land stuff today, looking around, cruising, and I need to get this done, and I need to go to my softball locker. <laughs> Can't go today, so I don't have my key. Well, here we go, going into Sayla. Doing nothing else today but going into Sayla. Sweet, I'm so pissed. <laughs> it's fine, I wanted to make another trip to Waterville this week anyway, so it's fine. being this deep. Right, because we're inside the truck. Ah! <laughs> my god. I might buckle up. Ah! It's fun. I don't see why people do this. <laughs> so we're taking a look at some land today. Dave went and bought himself a trailer and a side-by-side because -side, he's a boy who likes toys and they even gave him a free hat. Yeah. Oh, you cute. Oh, I should put my close my window so the bugs don't get in. Gotta be careful through these, babe. <laughs> I will that. Wow, There's nothing here to protect our eyeballs. I'm absolutely horrified that I'm going to lose an eyeball on this journey. We've been driving for like 10 minutes now. And now there's a tree in front of our path. There's like a huge chance that we could like see a bear or a moose. That's why I wanted it done. We're on a safari. Oh my God, get your feet off my feet. Nope, we came from there, can you tell? <laughs> so I'm wearing a dress that I bought at the consignment shop yesterday. It's really cute, got some compliments on it, and it has a snack pocket. So when there's nobody home, we put Mala in the kennel. Everyone that lives in this house knows to put Mala in the kennel. We did not make our bed this morning. <laughs> I ignore that. Everybody knows to put Mala in the kennel. So Mala was in the kennel, 
and um, this is what we came back to. This was her bandana, and this was the carpet. She broke the bottom of her crate, got a little piece of carpet with her teeth, and just pulled it like an old holiday sweater. <laughs> Listen, listen to this though, listen to this. This has been the real kicker. In the last couple of days, Mala has peed on my parents' bed two days in a row. <laughs> Puppy, no, why, why, why would she do this? Why, what's, what's the motive? What's in it for her? If anybody has an answer or an inkling to why, the dog would pee on my parents' bed on my mom's side two days in a row. Hello guys, welcome to softball storage. I've talked about this before, but I've got one, two, three softball lockers and three strikes are out at the old ball game. New people, hi, I coach high school softball and we gotta pack stuff up. Season ended in the middle of June. I'm lazy. Um, no, but I get to keep the, the keys to these spaces until the spring sports, spring sport come in. So I have about until the second week of August to have to give back the school key and I just want to organize stuff and whatnot. Got this that needs to go into the locker and this bag which is full of softball belts and socks. Ooh, wow. But I also have to take a little trip. I also have to take, oh no. Oh dear. We are in trouble. This is my locker. Yeesh. First storage full of things that I don't know what we do with anymore. Old helmets, old bags. All my girls have bags, so I don't know why we need those. Super old uniforms down there, old bases, old stuff. Don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with old equipment. Second locker, stuff that I need for tryouts, extra equipment that we need, hitting bags, strength bats, skinny bats, small wiffles. Tennis balls, which reminds me, I think wiffle balls are down at the field storage. I need to grab that. Donated bats we got last year. I just used one of those wooden bats over there and I just slammed this back in. I mean, it's fine, right? And equipment, this is where my uniforms will go when, once I collect all of them. I'm still missing like five, I think. JV uniforms, belts, indoor plates, uh, indoor balls. I've only put in our two good tees because the girls complain when I bring out the third more garbage too, so I just left that down at the field. Cool. This is what happens when you get dressed in the air conditioning. Put on a sweatshirt like a freaking idiot. They see me. I don't think that I've shown this yet. This is a key ring that a player gave to me at the end of last season. It's like a little goodbye thing. It says coach on one side, it says Sam on the other. It's super cute, so I'm gonna put my softball keys on it. You know what I really want? A nice coffee. The thing is, like, I could just have a nice coffee and not tell anybody about it, and no one would know, and it would be fine. But I don't want to do that because the person I make these vlogs for the most are myself, and I would know that I was a liar. And that just wouldn't be fair to me, you know? I've been inside Sela for so long, and I took my hoodie off and my rain jacket to my car, but luckily my car is parked literally right there, so. We're gonna unlock it from here and make a run for it. But by the time I got to my car, I had clicked my car keys, so I'd lock myself back out, so unlocking it ahead of time was absolutely pointless. Great. Ugh. So this weekend's gonna be really busy. Tomorrow, Dave and I are going to a camp, which I used to go to with my friend Katie when we were kids. However, I did agree that I would play softball this weekend up in Old Town, which means I'm going to split my time between this. I'm gonna do it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna split my freaking time because I'm not picking one over the other. I'm gonna make both work somehow, some way. I'm super excited for this weekend starting tomorrow. So next vlog, super excited, okay? Yeah, you you definitely got got caught in the rain, didn't you? Yeah, this is all dry, yeah. Yeah, because That's you guys were on the four-wheeler and the side-by-side. -side. Yeah. Oh, hello, puppy. They pulled me out, look at say. He actually had water coming in on the floorboards. Did he? Yeah. I bet he had a blast though. <laughs> yeah, I've got to roll a deep hole. This is what I come for. This, <laughs> this, is, this is why I'm this is why I'm in Maine. Yeah. So I can do outside things. Dave and my dad went on some trails today and all that rain that I got cotton in my car. They were cotton on four wheelers on a side by side. Changing out of wet jeans is yeah. the worst, isn't it? It is. It's like <laughs> Good girl. Stay. Good girl, Mala. Oh, good girl. We sit and we wait. Cece, what are you doing? Ooh. Ooh, wow, what a good jumper. 
My baby girl, mwah! You tried this for so long, I'm so proud of you, mwah! I jumped in. <laughs> the old dog hair. <laughs> Dang it, why well, not my fault? You're so cute. Are you cute? I missed you, human. Someone's too short. I think my insides are wet. I know, my fingers are tripled right up. Did, did, he, did he tell you? That you had to pull them out? <laughs> that he got stuck. I have a video of it as well, it's brilliant. <laughs> Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Needy baby. Other needy baby. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> yeah, all three. Right. So I got my face goopy on. Did you want to lick me? We've got one puppy, two puppy, three puppy. We've started Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Started it last night and we got to chapter six. Your walrus is missing a tusk. Boob disease. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna read some Harry Potter and we're gonna go to sleep because we got a very very busy weekend coming Fishing. We've got a very busy weekend. We're going to camp. We're doing some softball stuff. It's gonna be very busy So that will <laughs> It's a big old fish or you got a rock It is. <laughs> it is. I caught a specialist fish a Millinocket tuna. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah they're only in the lakes around Millinocket. I was calling it Milwaukee earlier. Milwaukee? Yeah, we're going to Milwaukee. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up for me. It's far. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.